It may be represented by a dense color, or you may just sense them, or you may see a drawing, a picture, a shape, a blurred outline. You may hear something differently. Talk to me and let me know. Yep, they're here. Mm -hmm. How would you describe them to me? It's, um, it's a white light. White light? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Flickering a little bit. Mm -hmm. So you can communicate with the light. Is it the light of your higher self or is it the light of a spirit guide? I think it's the light of my higher self. Higher self? Okay. Hmm. And is there anybody else present or just your higher self today? Just me. Excellent. Okay. So we're going to set an, inten set an intention now. You can repeat in your mind either by saying it out loud or quietly or just saying inside your mind, I ask my higher self to help me access causative events in this life or a past life. I ask because I am ready to resolve my current issues that we spoke about in the session today. I ask my higher self to help me access causative events in this life or other, or both. I ask because I am ready to resolve my present issues. First though, we are going to go back in time to this life when you felt a peaceful confidence. This is a resourceful state you can reconnect with. I will count from three down to zero, and at zero you'll be able to recall or imagine any moment of peaceful confidence days, years or decades ago. It's not your job to analyse it, only recount it. Drifting back with three, a moment of peaceful confidence coming up with two, coming into focus with one and ready to step into the scene and the feeling with zero, now be there. In that moment, are you inside or outside? Outside. What are you doing? I'm at the beat. Okay. And what do you see or hear? Or no? I hear the chatter of people. Mm -hmm. uh, kids laughing. The waves crashing on the shore. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? Happy. Okay, beautiful. Notice where you feel that feeling of happiness in your body. Let that feeling grow so a peaceful confidence fills your whole being. You can let this feeling of peaceful confidence move into the background. This feeling now has your back while we deal with the issues that we are presenting today. That peaceful confidence is you and will always be with you. So now we are asking your higher self to take you back to a causative event, creating any of the negative event effects that we have spoken about today. We'd like the higher self to prioritize the most urgent and most important in relation to personal power and money. It can be a specific moment in this life that is months, years or decades ago and has everything to do with the issues of personal power, money. If you're ever uncomfortable with an experience, simply float above it and watch it from the distance. Allow any memory to arise as we go backwards with three, returning to a significant time back to a causative event of your main issue in this life. So just let one specific moment come up and into focus zero now. In that moment, are you inside or outside? Bye. 
And how old are you? Any number that comes uh, to your mind? Seven. Seven? Okay. Don't think too hard on it. Just let the first thing that comes out. What is happening in this scene? I'm in the pantry, mm -hmm. in the kitchen, and there's a yogurt tub of coins. Mm -hmm. But it's being put on the top shelf, mm -hmm. so I can't reach it. Mm -hmm. But I know I can climb up the shelves and put my hand in and grab some coins. Okay, and why do you want to do that? What does it make you feel like to know that you can climb up the shelf to put your hands in? Even though I've been told not to touch the money, I still have found a way to get to it. Mm -hmm. And um, does that give you a feeling of satisfaction or what's the emotion that describes the ability to climb up the shelf and get it anyway? Uh, satisfaction, but also a little bit of the fear of getting caught. Mm -hmm. And yeah. have you done have you done this before? Yeah. And what do you do with the money? Do you just like to hold it or do you take it and hide it? I spend it. You spend it? What do you spend it on? At the canteen at school. Canteen at school? And what do you buy? Sunny boy. Sunny boy. <laughs> Licorice. Sun yeah. Eucalyptus lollies. Yeah. Ice cream. Mm hmm And are you the only one in the family that climbs the shelf to take the money? Yeah. And what is the money supposed to be used for? Just savings, loose change. Mm-hmm that my parents have taken out of their pockets and put in the tub. Probably my dad. Yeah. Mm. And who catches you? Play the scene forward a bit. I don't think anyone catches me. Okay. And does anybody ever find out that you've taken the money? No. No? No one finds out? Okay. So, um... What do you know now about this scene, about what you experienced? What does your higher self want you to know from viewing this scene? I guess although I, I feel that money is out of reach, it's still oh. obtainable by my efforts. Mm. Okay, so that's a limiting belief that money is out of reach. And um, do you understand that that is an incorrect belief? Yep. Yep. Okay. What, would, what else would your higher self like you to know about the feeling and knowledge that you created from this? That I have it in me, like, um, resourceful in to mm -hmm. work out how to get the money. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I have... Uh, the mind and obviously the physical ability mm -hmm. to get to the money. Um, I felt I deserved the money. Mm -hmm. I didn't feel there was a reason for it to just sit in the tub. <laughs> yeah, the energy was stagnant. Mm. Okay, beautiful. Now, issues and blockages in this life, so money, limiting beliefs about money being out of reach, can have a cause in a past life, as well as the current life. The thoughts, feeling and issues faced in this life can be the bridge that takes you back to a past life cause that can heal present life issues. So what I want you to do is now ask your higher self to take you back to your place in nature, to the forest. Orientate yourself in the forest. 
and I want you to look around you because a large mirror appears. This mirror has the power to show you information about your soul's journey. Does your mirror have straight lines or curves? Right. Straight. And what colour is your mirror's frame? Gold. Gold. Okay. Now, I want you to imagine your present day face reflected in the mirror. Now, imagine your face changing to the face as it looked like 10 years ago in the mirror. Recall your hair and your clothes, perhaps from a photograph from 10 years ago. Now watch it fade and imagine your face from when you were 10 years old reflected in the mirror. Recall your hair and your clothes. Now that mirror can act like a screen. It can play a scene that is your earliest memory. Maybe you're five years old. Maybe you're 10 months old. You can interrupt me at any time to tell me when you see the scene. Notice what it is in this scene in the mirror and let the scene play out, going further and further back in time to your earliest memory. In this mirror you can see your past faces of this life reflected and past scenes. You can go back even further in time to some years before your birth in the present life, to some years towards the end of your past life, last life. As I count backwards from five down to zero, your last past life face can appear in the mirror and or scenes from a past life that is relevant can play out. With five, imagining the past life face in the mirror, four, getting clearer, three, or that face acting in a past life scene, with two, coming up and being there with one, zero, now. First impression, is there a face or a scene? Scene. Scene, okay. Are you inside or outside? Inside. Inside, okay. Can you please describe where you are? I'm in a kitchen, an old kitchen back in time. Okay. Uh, I'm in the kitchen wearing like a, a dress with an apron. Mm -hmm. So you're uh, female? Mm. Female. Uh, Can you yeah. tell how old you are? Are you a grandma or a young lady? Young. Young. Um, in maybe or young, like 30s. 30s, yeah. Mm. Okay. And what are you wearing on your feet? Anything? Shoe, shoes. Like flat, house, slip, ha, house, house slippers or flat sandals? Closed shoes. Closed flat. shoes. Mm -hmm. And um, does a name spring to your mind? Joan. Joan. Okay, and do you have a specific age in the 30s that Joan is? Thirty-eight. Thirty-eight. Mm -hmm. Okay, and do you know what year this is? Eighteen fifty-two. Eighteen fifty-two. Perfect. And do you know whereabouts in the world Joan is? London. London. Perfect. Okay. So what is happening in the kitchen with Joan? What is Joan doing? What is she making? Working at, at the stove. Working at the stove? the big pot. Okay. What's in the big pot? Vegetables. Vegetables? Like potatoes and uh, carrots. Um, like a, a stew. Yep.
Is there anyone else in the kitchen? No. No, okay. And the last things we wish to know today is, uh, can you see her hair and her eyes? What colour is her hair? It's in. It's under a cover. I, um, okay, like a sure. scarf? A scarf or a shawl? Like a bonnet type cap. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, is there anything else about her physicality that you'd like to tell me? She's lean, lean, fairly tall. Mm -hmm. Can you tell if she's wearing a wedding ring? No. No. Okay, perfect. You have done amazing today. And in the next session, we will come back to this exact mm -hmm. moment in time to pick up where we will leave off now. You've done great so far. You've set a clear intention and connected with your higher self. You have experienced a hypnotic state, so you can go quicker and deeper next time. You've done an age regression to a time of peaceful confidence in this life at the beach. And you have done a past life regression to find a scene in the kitchen in the 1852 in London with Joan, who is 38. You have set an intention to access past lives to resolve present life issues. Your subconscious can prepare to continue to this efficiently and effectively in the next past life regression sessions. We thank your higher self for the help they have given and will continue to give you to understand that money is not out of your reach. Money is always within your reach. You are resourceful and you have access mentally and physically and the ability to reach money at all times. You deserve money in your life. In a moment, I'll count you up to five and at five, you'll come back fully into the moment feeling good. So coming up with one, aware of your body with two, into this time and place with three, four, moving your fingers and toes, with five, feeling good, eyes opened, refreshed and alert. One, two, three, four, five, feeling good. Hello. Hello there. How do you feel? Yeah, good. I wasn't sure I was going to, um, you know, sometimes it is hard to focus 100%. You, your mind does wonder and then sometimes you think, I'm not going to be able to bring something up or or know something, but yeah, it all came pretty easily to me on my end. From oh what I, from what I could hear, it flowed very easily. Mm. And the the main thing is to allow whatever comes up come up, even if you think it's stupid, mm. even if you think it's irrational, even if you think you're making it up. Yeah, mm. your mind isn't making it up. So, um, so anything you would like to talk about from what you experienced then? It's interesting my childhood memory of, of the money and I, I have thought about that because I have gone through to sort of try and understand my own money beliefs and you know what has shaped my money beliefs obviously most of it comes from parents um, from childhood um, and I always have that memory of that you know that yogurt container okay. and yeah sitting on top of that shelf and i was pretty sporty and agile so i just climbed up the pantry and put my hand in and probably pulled out 40 or 60 cents which you know back in 1970s uh, oh <laughs> look I, I laughed when you said the sunny boy because i loved sunny boys yeah <laughs> I'll, I'll probably my money would have gone to sunny boys and um chickadees and fonzies yeah and yep. you know liquor, red licorice uh, and that's what made me happy as a kid yeah you know just sucking on a sunny boy yep. <laughs> so juicy yeah. so sticky <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> um but i do think back to that situation where the money was put high up on a ledge you know um and uh and yeah, it probably has shaped a lot of my beliefs that, you know, money is within my reach and I do, and money does come to me, but it's, 
it's allowing it to flow more rather than People putting a knowledge. stop putting a stop to it yep allowing it to flow more f to me rather than having it and then stopping whether it's stopping my effort or stopping my belief that i deserve more or yeah so i think that's a significant part of my life there mm -hmm. and what about uh accessing the past life phase mm. did you have yeah. any feelings come up when you when you saw her yeah I, I felt that it's not where i belonged okay that i was actually working in that kitchen it okay. wasn't my kitchen okay um and probably working for a low paying job and feeling that i, I didn't belong there that uh, i was capable of more okay mm. okay mm. All right, perfect. Well, I wonder who so, Joan is. I wonder who Joan is. So we will find out more in the next session. Um, I will send you a link of this recording today to keep for yourself. Mm -hmm. You don't need to ever watch it, but it's just so that you are secure in the knowledge that you have it. Should you ever wish to re-listen to it, um, I will. This next session will be um, depending upon your higher self between one and four hours, one and three hours. Um, okay. So don't block anything either side, just in case, mm -hmm. because your higher self is the only one who knows how many lives we're going to go to. Okay, so generally it's a pattern. So they will maybe show you a short life, then a really long life in terms of the amount of time that they're going to show you from that life, and then a short one. Um, it, it really depends upon um, how they want to show you the pattern. Uh, and you will have the choice at the end of every life. Uh, what I will ask you is to go to the death scene. There's nothing scary about the death scene. Um, and you will be asked at the death scene, are you, do you wish to follow the light as you cross over into heaven? And depending upon, there's no wrong answer, you can either say yes or no. Um, if it's not intended for you to follow the light, your higher self won't allow you to follow the light, you, um, you'll just then be taken to the next life. If you follow the light, we will go into the afterlife and that is where you will um, answer, meet potential soul, family, soulmates, light council um, and have the opportunity to ask um, questions about life purpose and things like that or really get fine-tuned understanding on what, what you have seen in that past life but only if it's required or helpful for you they won't take you unless it's important to you so basically what happens from now on is you can schedule that session anytime um, can be as soon as you like but don't do it any later than two weeks time if you can fit it into your schedule um, between now and then it's helpful if you feel like it to um, Think about what you've seen, journal, um, do something creative, maybe even, I don't know, go into a, your meditative state, state through photography and just take photos and see what you end up doing. Some people like to draw, you know, just let it be. Um, any information that you, your higher self wants to communicate with you to provide further clarity can be provided in dreams. So you may want a dream journal beside your bed, just some p note, paper and pen. And the idea is if uh, if you wake up in the night from a dream or if you wake up in the morning at the end of a dream, even though you're half asleep, just write down whatever you've seen and then just put it away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, if you don't normally remember your dreams and you want to remember your dreams, then you make an intention before you go to sleep. You drink a water, a glass of water and while you're drinking that glass of water, you say, I'm going to re remember my dreams in the morning. I, I have a lot of, I've been dreaming very vividly and I do remember a lot okay. of my dreams, most of them. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, yeah. um, do you keep a dream journal? No. Okay. I so, will though. It's interesting. Mm. Yeah. Um, because you can also get um, past life um, information in those dreams. Mm. Mm. So just let it be. Um, know that you've done really well today um, and make sure now that you have a drink of water Yeah. Um, and something to eat and, and yeah. um, that's grounding, yeah. warm, 
cup of tea or coffee or whatever and, and yeah, something yeah. something to eat because you may get up and feel a bit lightheaded because of the experience. Um, know that you've also had the singing bowl and the singing bowl um, really uh, energetically does work with you so you may be thirstier than usual. So just um, be very gentle with yourself today. Don't go and do a workout or, or do something. Okay. All Don't right. go well, shoveling stuff in the backyard. Do you know what I mean? It's like you've just been to a massage therapist. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so right. uh, take care of yourself. And thank, thank you, you for oh, joining thank me you. Yeah, in that session. Yeah, that's great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And really good. Um, interesting where it's going to lead to. I don't. I